The most important thing in crypto is not the asset selection. It's not the decision whether or not to buy this meme coin or that meme coin. It's not the decision whether or not to sell a certain asset. The most important thing is where is the market as a whole currently going? Because there is a lot of correlation between different assets, right? When all of crypto is crashing, then you might have the best meme coin in the world. That meme coin is likely going to go down as well. And so I like to talk about psychological effects. I like to talk about confirmation bias. So the bias that we tend to seek out information that already confirms our current beliefs. And it's very hard to spot that confirmation bias, especially when it's further supported by the YouTube algorithm. And so I want to share something that caused me to think a bit. Two days ago, I published a video, Don't Get Wrecked. And it was mainly a video about risk management. It was mainly a video how the demand by the Bitcoin ETFs is slowing down. It was a discussion how some indicators, not all, but some indicators are turning red and are showing that it might make sense to de-risk somewhat. Now, I don't have a crystal ball either, right? I do not know for sure where the Bitcoin price is going, but I do believe that mathematical models tend to work relatively well for Bitcoin. The nice thing about the blockchain is that we can look behind the curtain, right? We don't just look at the prices. We can actually see what are the long-term holders doing, how much short-term spec speculation is there we have a lot of measures to see how heated a market could potentially be and so no model is perfect but i strongly believe in data i think it's better than just random gut feeling i believe it's good to get checked because in the moment as prices are high greed is also high confidence is also high and this is what this video is about what i noticed are very interesting comments on that recent video. And of course, not everybody agrees with what has been said in the video, but still, I was impressed how much confidence there was for further rising prices. If you sell now, you will be waiting until 2026 to 2027 to buy back. Of course, some people like the video, but let's focus in on the perma bulls on Bitcoin. Given the upward momentum and the trend going more up than down, why take profits now when it dips? When it goes back up, you've lost out, especially if the end goal is to play the long game and accumulate as much BTC as possible and hodl. Short term folks will come and go, but those that truly believe in the future of BTC surely aren't reducing their stack, no matter the profits. Am I wrong? Yeah, I would say that this is wrong because in the end, the people that have enough assets, they still try to be somewhat diversified. And if you start out with just say a 10% allocation and suddenly Bitcoin triples and you've got 30% of your wealth in Bitcoin, are you really going to keep that 30% stack when especially at those elevated prices, Bitcoin can easily come down 50, 60, 70%. Maybe not, right? Maybe you want to keep the risks that you're used to being exposed to. Value days destroyed doesn't work this time. Those long-term holders are moving their Bitcoin into the ETFs. Also debatable, because so far only 4% of the entire Bitcoin supply is in those ETFs. 96% is still all the rest. And so yes, this effect does exist, but it's probably not moving the needle that much. No one cares, bro. Everyone's still buying. Buy, sell, buy, sell. Short, long, hedge, do a circle. I didn't watch to the end, but failed to mention the GBTC outflows, which were very high last week. Once they run out of BTC, prices can only go one way. No time to sell, in my opinion, keep your cool. Yes, this is true. The grayscale Bitcoin trust is obviously a lot of headwind for all of those inflows. But even if we take those away, the inflows in the last two weeks weren't as big as before. The amount of dump it videos are mind blowing. Don't sell at previous all time highs. WTF, paper hands, buy all the dips. All metrics are halfway to the critical levels. And so, yeah, I think you do get the point. Those kind of comments we normally do not see when Bitcoin is just recovering from a bear market. Those kind of very high confidence comments we get when we are already somewhat heated. Now, the reason why I have a very strong focus on those kind of comments is because we see them in even magnified form for very small altcoins, especially the altcoins that have Ponzi nomics that are very much dependent on a lot of new investors coming in. Those kind of videos, when they're critical, get a lot of those very bullish comments, as in buy this altcoin, buy this Ponzi scheme. Again, I'm generalizing here, right? And by no means do I say that Bitcoin is a Ponzi scheme. But what I do want to say is that high confidence should be inversely correlated with the price. As the price goes up, we should become more cautious. As the price goes down, we should become more greedy. But as we can see from comments like this, the market 
as a whole doesn't seem to do that the market as a whole simply just says okay we are close to the all-time high we are probably going to triple again and yes in the past this did happen to a degree but also in the past we didn't see that many long-term holders selling there's arguments on both sides but especially when you generated a lot of profits with this recent rally it does make sense to balance out your risk exposure right in general i think about target allocations so you've got your portfolio of various stuff right of stocks of property of precious metals of crypto and you want to have a target allocation say for crypto say 10 percent and you can adjust that target allocation based on where you currently see the market being if the market has massively crashed and we're down by say 80 percent from the all-time high then you should be as per tendency over allocated so maybe instead of having 10 percent in bitcoin you could consider having 15 or maybe even 20 percent in bitcoin and vice versa if you're currently very high in the bitcoin price we're close to the all-time high then it's better to rather be at the 10 percent maybe even less five percent of all of your portfolio in crypto and to do again the exact opposite of what the masses are doing you do not gain confidence by being high in the bitcoin price it's the exact opposite you want to have long term a balanced portfolio and again i do not dare to predict where the bitcoin price is going i simply just took profit in order to rebalance my portfolio and that was also based on some of those metrics turning red not all of them but some and so overall the picture isn't that bullish anymore it's simply just mixed and so i want to have a mix kind of exposure not a massive exposure after this great bull run if it's your first time here feel free to subscribe i publish videos regularly a like would be very much appreciated as well it helps the channel grow there's also a free telegram link is down below